Hello, YouTube land. It's Erica with an A. Um, I'm back for my third blog. Okay, this is a very entertaining subject, and I know it's a hot button that you probably shouldn't press in the LGBT community, but I'm going to go on ahead and press it because I have a very strong opinion about this. Because I'm a very, uh, I guess you could say, open person. I'm open to many different ideas. I'm open to many different theories. Um, but there are some things that I just think are a little on the ridiculous side. So, this segment, ladies and gentlemen, is about studs being baby's daddies. <laughs> Now, I know some of y'all are like, oh, no, she didn't even go there yet. It needs to be talked about. Okay, there's nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, I commend anyone who has the compassion enough and who is responsible enough to take on the responsibility of raising somebody else's child as their own or, you know, embracing the fact that when a girl has a child and you're dating that girl, you know, it's the whole package. That's wonderful. I love it. It makes me so happy. It just makes me just joyful um, to imagine all these kids with these two parents. <laughs> but at the same time, sometimes I think people take it a little too far. I know studs. And it's not fems, it's studs. That's why I'm pointing this out. Who take it to the extreme and will not stop talking to a girl that is a hoe, cheat on them, fuck their friend, their cousin, mama, daddy, niggas down the street, the football team, sending their pussy through MySpace and whatever, this, that, and the third, Facebook. Excuse my language for using the P word like that. But, you know, and everybody looking at them like, what is this girl doing to you? She got kryptonite in her in her stuff? You know, like, what's going on? And your response is, oh, well, uh, I love her kids. Now, you know, everybody's dealt with a certain amount of BS from somebody that was unnecessary. But these are your kids? Your kids? Really? Really? Your name's in the birth certificate? Really? First of all, let, let's get one thing straight. It's bad enough that the straight community thinks that gay marriage is a joke and the idea of a, of a gay family is a joke. But it's even worse when we put it out there like we just build these fucking makeshift families with the first girl we hook up with. Let's think, people. If you're with a girl and that's your partner, your lover, your girlfriend, whatever, you've been with her for four or five years, and y'all decide you want to have a baby together, that's wonderful. But why are y'all using these recycled families? It's like, like I said, it's nothing wrong with dating somebody with a child. I think that it's a beautiful thing to be able to, to be woman enough to embrace somebody else's situation and say, I'm going to take responsibility of your child. I'm going to help you. It takes a hell of a fucking person because there's a lot of people walking out around this world that are the birth parents, whether it be men or women, and they're not taking care of their responsibilities. So I have so much respect for somebody who can take on somebody else's responsibility. But at the same time, do not... Let somebody run over you and rake you through the coals and cheat on you and tear you down so that the next girl, who's probably going to be a good girl, has to deal with this baggage that you have all because you like somebody's kids. While you may have formed a connection with those kids or that girl in that moment of your life, it's not, it's not you know, a for sure thing. Nothing is guaranteed, and it's like, you shouldn't try to just create your destiny like that. If y'all stay together, y'all have a great relationship, y'all are a great family, that's wonderful. I love to see thriving families in the LGBT community. But if you in one of those crazy-ass lesbian relationships, stereotypical, 
cheating on each other, y'all in every damn club, up and down the I-10, you know, at different times, giving out your number to this fam and that stuff and all this kind of stuff, and she messing with dudes, and you over here doing your own thing, and the only reason y'all still talk is, oh, well, uh, I like her kids, that's some bullshit, and to be quite honest, you with her for the wrong reasons, and you're around her kids for the wrong reasons. I mean, that's just not even cool. And the thing about it is, a lot of those relationships end up damaging to the next girl who has to deal with the baggage that that girl has left that stud with, you know? That, what really bothers me about it is, also, and I'm going to point this out, because I'm not going to just put you studs through the ringer, because it's not y'all's fault. These fems out here, they use these kids against these studs that manipulate them. And y'all do your thing, and y'all know you're doing your thing. And the minute you don't have money to get diapers, or the minute you don't have money to get a new car seat, or the minute something happens, you back on the phone with that stud that you were treating bad a week ago, bitch, you need to get your fucking priorities together. Karma don't like anybody. What goes around comes around. And I've seen so many girls... You know, because whether a stud is a stud and has baggy jeans and has a swagger like a nigga, the fact of the matter is, that's still a woman. They still have emotions and feelings like a woman, you know, and they can be hurt just like anybody else. And that's not fair and it's not right to manipulate situations in your favor and play the kid card with, oh, oh, well, you're going to leave me and my son. You're going to leave me and my daughter. It's, you know, good and well, you out here fucking this stud, that stud, and this stud. Why you, you know, hollering to this girl about you gonna leave me and... That's not right. People need to be in relationships for the right reasons. Focus on each other. The kids are the bonus. The fact that y'all are able to share something that special is a bonus. But that shouldn't be your whole basis on your relationship. Because if you don't have love for each other, it's not gonna work. Like I said, I know that's a hot button, that's a hot topic, but I had to get that off my chest. And I will be blogging a few more times tonight. Um, I want to go on ahead and give a shout out to my website again, www.thefemme.yolasite, and that's Y-O-L-A-S-I-T-E dot com. And like I said, I know that's a hot button. I hope I don't offend anybody. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to, you know, get some realness. And I would love to get comments back. If you're a stud and you feel like you can shed some light on why sometimes it's so critical to harm yourselves behind a child who you didn't even legitimately produce or didn't even, y'all didn't even think to conceive it together or, you know, it, it wasn't planned, then, you know, I would love to know what the reason is for the abuse some of y'all endure just because a girl has a kid. I would love to know. So, thanks for watching.